A swastika spray-painted on an outside wall with the words Nazi Republicans leave town or else. Inside, almost everything burned, including political signs and an American flag. Walls are charred. This is what's left tonight of the Republican Party office in Orange County, North Carolina, firebombed in the overnight hours this weekend. They threw some sort of firebomb through the window because it smoked up under the porch and all around the window frame. No one was injured, but a top state Republican tells us people do work in this office at all hours of the day and night. There's no way for anybody to have known that that office was completely empty. Um, so I'm just not willing to accept that they, they weren't trying to hurt people. The FBI, ATF, and Secret Service are assisting the Hillsborough, North Carolina police. Tonight, that agency has no word on potential suspects, but Donald Trump thinks he knows who's behind it, tweeting, quote, animals representing Hillary Clinton and Dems in North Carolina just firebombed our office in Orange County. There's no evidence to back up his claim, and state Republicans aren't going there. We don't know who exactly is responsible for this. Hillary Clinton tweeted the attack is, quote, horrific and unacceptable. It follows a rash of campaign violence this year, much of it at Trump rallies. Outside a Trump event in Maine this weekend, several cars belonging to Trump supporters were spray painted. Protesters at Trump rallies have gotten sucker punched. Neither Trump nor his critics have clean hands. I'd like to punch him in the face. I'd like to punch him in the face. This is an election that is pulling at every seam in American life. Every division that we have uh, is going to be, it has been exacerbated. With three weeks left until the election, law enforcement experts are worried about an escalation. What's your fear going forward? My fear is that one of these people that are right at the edge who feel like they're not being heard or perhaps who have mental illness and are coiled and ready to spring and they do something foolish. I think it would be prudent for both the campaigns to say something to their own supporters that tone this down. But what will the campaigns do to reduce the violence? The Republican National Committee and its chairman, Reince Priebus, they issued a statement saying this kind of violence and hate have no place in our society, but they did not denounce Donald Trump's tweet. The Trump campaign, reached today by CNN, said it would stick to its original tweet, blaming, quote, animals representing Hillary Clinton for the attack. The Clinton campaign also stuck to its tweet, saying the attack was horrific and unacceptable.